deputies for tonight's stream, I should say. We're patrolling as a security guard here in the Davis area. There are a couple businesses that have hired our services. So we're going to uh, just kind of patrol parking lots up and down uh, the strip just to make sure nothing out of the ordinary is happening. So we have the ability to go ahead and um, essentially activate a pursuit. So if we see somebody suspicious or somebody with a weapon and we need police here, we can aim at them and press T, which will activate a pursuit through LSPDFR system. That will get the police involved and then we'll just kind of radio back up to um, get them over here. Rose, thank you for the 100 bits. Good to see you again. Glad to see, uh, it's like we got a lot of the regulars here, JJ. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Security patrols, sometimes they're interesting, sometimes uh, not so much. It really just depends on what happens in the area we're patrolling. And we can't pull people over. We only have a limited amount of weapons. We have a flashlight, which is right here. Of course, we can, uh, you know, if we got to smack somebody with the flashlight, we can do that. And then we do have a little taser here we need that but that's all we got really I don't know where that carbine rifle comes from but we don't have access to that we're not armed we're not licensed to carry a gun so we're gonna do what we can to uh, just keep the area safe mainly just we're here to dial 911 if we need to so this is a security car let me pull it up into the light if you guys haven't seen it before So it's a Crown Vic. Let's take a look at this thing. Don't forget your powers of citizen's arrest. I guess, I guess we could uh, technically do a citizen's arrest if we needed to. That's, that's a good point. So this thing's a Crown Vic. It's equipped with amber lighting. You can see the security company we, we work for is clearly marked on the vehicle. Putting you in secure. It is EOS enabled, so we do have some of those features. Yeah, we are in a uh, particularly rough area of the map, that's correct. So uh, there's our stage one EOS lighting, just the back lights, stage two white bar goes, and uh, stage three we. We do have some strobing headlights, which may or may not be legal in your state, depending on certain laws. I think uh, maybe only certain vehicles are allowed to have strobing headlights. I've seen, uh, you know, construction vehicles with some strobing stuff here in South Carolina, but I don't know about the headlights. That would just depend. We can light up the bar just kind of like that if we need to. Uh, probably, we'll probably leave this on to let people know where security coming around. All right, so we'll just start uh, going around, see if we uh, see anything. We will we'll go beyond just the Davis Mall. Like I said, there's a lot of businesses in this area, and we're kind of responsible for um, this part of the, the map. Obviously, back here, you've got uh, your, our central gang locations. We're not going to wander too much back there. There's really no businesses to protect. If we get back there, we're just going to get involved in something um, we really don't need to. In New York, you can have strobing headlights. Yeah, I think it just really depends on um, where you are. A couple of cops in the area doing some beat patrols. That's good to see. Makes me feel better. I'm gonna check back here. I always like to check in this back area just in case there's something. Sometimes we get homeless people back here. That's the job of security really, just to make sure everything uh, stays secure. Right, this looks fine back here. Everything looks uh, locked up too. Units 
Here's the interior of the car if you haven't seen it before. And you, you'll notice we don't have a police laptop or anything because we're not police. Nor do we have a partition because we're not police. We do have a little radio system. So far, it seems pretty quiet. It's a good thing for us. Now, this area is known for uh, some ladies of the night, AKA some uh, prostitution, so. We see them on any of the property we're supposed to be patrolling. We will ask them just kind of to leave the area. Kind of scoot. Can't really arrest them or anything. But, um, you know, the business owners, they don't want that type of thing going on. So we'll check. Uh, we'll dip in here real quick and check. Make sure nobody's in here. We also have a spotlight too on this car where we can uh, use it to shine some light in some corners if we need to. Let me see it here. So if we need to check out a particular spot, we can use that. Yeah, we, we do have access to a, uh, a panic button if we need it. It's for emergency situations, but essentially it'll give a call to all police in the area, let them know we need help. I'm not sure if there are other vehicles that people have created part of the group six pack. Probably are, but um, this is the only one I have in my game currently. Hey, FedEx truck is suspicious. Yeah, I, I did bump it a little bit, but no damage. All right, we're gonna make a left here. I'm just going to kind of circle around. We'll check out the gas station as well. Okay, I, I do notice a couple of people loitering across the street. We'll probably go talk to them, ask them to leave. We, we can't demand ID or anything like that, but um, we do know business owners, they don't want people loitering on their property at night. A lot of times people will, will do uh, illegal things. It's just a liability. Okay, let's let's talk to these guys over here. See what's going on. Oh, come on, man! Watch the car. Now it's gonna be an insurance claim. All right, let's talk to this this lady. All right, ma'am. I work security for these hey, businesses over control, here. I'm gonna ask you to leave, okay? They don't want anyone loitering at night on their property. If people don't leave or they, uh, you know, create a scene, that's when we'll call the police. So we'll ask these guys to leave as well. All right, guys, I'm working security here. Property owner doesn't want you out here this time of night. So I'm gonna ask you to leave, please. All right, guys, let's go ahead. Let's get out of here. All right, sir, you too. Occasionally, you might hear uh, a couple of police call-outs come over the radio. We're just on, on the same channel. All right, let's walk back here. Just make sure nobody's back here. We can't shoot anybody because um, we're not licensed. What the heck? 
Get out of here, rats. We're not licensed to have a uh, firearm, so we can't shoot anybody. Tell people we're drinking back here. There's like a bottle of beer just chilling on the ground. I think there is a, a small probability they won't listen to me and they'll um because i have had people not vacate the area when i ask them to but that's a good question now in terms of is that probability i'm not too sure okay those were not dead rats they were alive i saw them moving a couple cars parked out here not really a problem let's make sure nobody's in them we see somebody sleeping in their car here uh, a night on the property. That that is a problem. All right. Uh, so if they're on the sidewalk, that's okay. But uh, some of those people there are just right on the property. That is true. Yep, almost six hundred thousand. Not too far off, maybe another month or two. Oh, is she back? All right, ma'am. I'm gonna ask you to leave again. If you don't leave, I will get the police involved. I don't know if this is the same girl or not. Sure nobody came back here, okay. All right, we will continue going. See uh, what else we can find. We'll circle back around. Yeah, it is possible she never left. I don't, I don't know if that was the same person or not. All right, so uh, there's a fire station and there's some businesses over to the left that we'll check out as well. Get the green. All right, we'll start at the, uh, what is this, the bishops? We'll go in here. Make sure we don't have anybody back here. Oh, what is she doing? I I'm telling you, man. At nighttime, they just, we're having an issue. I'm gonna check back here, too. Yep, group six does whatever work they can get. They'll do the, uh, the money truck stuff. They do some security work. We've had problems with people coming back here at night. The heck is that noise? I'll tell you though, security guard pay is not that great. We're only getting paid about uh, ten dollars an hour to do this. Like you can tell, there's a there's people back here and just all this trash, broken bottles. That looks fine back here. You have section 27 tickets in the UK. What is that? What's section 27? Yeah, I've never heard of that. Uh, ticket to leave the area, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, we're not even ticketing them. We're just asking them to leave the area. Otherwise, we're gonna get the police involved. Okay, we're gonna talk to her. We're gonna ask her to leave. This looks like a different uh, female. How you doing tonight, ma'am? I work for uh, Group 6 Security here for this business. They don't want people loitering outside at night. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask you to leave, please. Alright, thank you for your cooperation, ma'am. 
the heck is this box doing here? Hey, Jerry, why is my portfolio such a mess? All right. I give you money to it's looking good. Uh, let's check behind the fence as well. There's somebody right here. Yep, we're gonna talk to her. Hey, ma'am. I work uh, security for the area. Business owners don't want anybody out here at night, okay? Later, so if you could just pack it up and leave for me. Thank you for your cooperation. Hello. Why do I talk to the people? Yeah, it's just okay. makes it a little more interesting. All right, we'll check back here as well. Make sure we don't have anybody sleeping or doing drugs or selling drugs back here. Look, another man. As soon as you ask one one girl to leave, another one pops up somewhere. Okay, she's actually outside the fence, so that's okay. Attention, all units. We've got an assault on a civilian on McDonald Street. Okay, uh, we might head up that way. Like I said, we're on the police channel, so we get police dispatches. I'm not sure if that's on uh, one of our properties. If it is, uh, it's good to know for my information so I can go over there and assist police if I need to. Most of the times they probably won't need any assistance, but uh, it's just nice that uh, I know what's going on. And we had another one pop up over here. All right, ma'am, you're gonna need to leave. All right, ma'am, same thing. You're going to need to leave the area for me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, is that a criminal? Here, I got him. Oh, I'm about to hide. <laughs> What is going on down there? I think they were chasing that guy that ran into me. Like I said, I don't have a, a gun or anything, so I'm not going to be returning fire. But if something happens on one of the businesses I'm supposed to be securing, I, I need to know about it to let uh, the company and the owner of the businesses know. Check over here real quick. Damn, you look good. Nice one. All right, it appears they got it under control, so we will continue our rounds here. I am carrying a stun gun. However, I didn't. I just can't stun random people. I didn't know for sure that he was running from police. Imagine if I just stunned a random person who is running. That would not be good for me. I'd probably get fired and have a lawsuit, civil lawsuit. Okay, back here looks okay. I'm pretty much the one security guard that does this entire block. All these businesses are part of a, a community of businesses and uh, essentially they just share the cost of having a security guard come out here at night to make sure everything's okay. All right, 
we got the lucky plucker. Let's check here. It's about midnight in the game at the moment. Unit one, Lincoln, eighteen. Ten four. Don't see anybody back here. Burger Shack's looking queer as well. Oh, we'll get out on foot down here and just check. There was a security guard in Atlanta. He used to wear that, like a, a GoPro body cam. But man, he would, uh, honestly, in my opinion, sometimes he pushes his job and his uh, responsibilities a little too far. And he would actually use his taser on people. He, he had a pretty uh, crazy setup for security guard, but he was also working a pretty tough area. All right, we'll just check the roofs here. As you can clearly see by the sign, no loitering, all this is private property. Yeah, something happened with them. Yeah, I don't I don't believe he still does security work. But um it was it was crazy. I think his name was like Darren or something like that. Hey, welcome term to the stream. Glad you could join us. Yeah, I've been sliding through my other little pieces place. And my baby mama uh, it sounds like out. people are up here. They no, might just yeah. be below us. We'll check over here next. Uh, this little parking lot here. Sounds like we got might have some people down there. Paul Port, yeah. <laughs> Alright, question is, uh, where did I come up? <laughs> I lost my orientation. I think it was on this side over here. Oh. Okay. That's uh, one way down. Oh, it was over there. Alright. I think I'm okay. Alright. <laughs> uh, just a little work-related injury. That'll probably be... Uh, Workers comp file. <laughs> Claim. Yeah, Ouch is right on that. We just brushed it off, you know. Alright, so to get over there, I'm gonna have to. Uh, and we're getting some rain coming in now. Got to do a U-turn. So I heard somebody talking down here. Sounded like maybe they were just walking on the sidewalk. Aim it like that as we drive. We don't have alley lights on this car, so we're just using the spotlight in that capacity. This looks all good to me. I cannot, well, so these shops are all supposed to be locked up. Obviously, uh, 
most of these don't have modeled out interiors and we want to actually go in the shop to just make sure they're locked up and no one else was in them since it is midnight it's pretty late nobody should be uh in the stores all right she's she's on the sidewalk that's fine if you're in the parking lot i'll get talked to her let me check this little out building right here i don't even know what this is but uh make sure nobody's behind her Very good, very good. All right, let's sit in our car a minute while it's raining here. Uh, we'll listen to the police radio, see if there are any calls coming in that might concern us where we would need to uh, to show up and just make sure everything's okay. We have a possible drug deal in Lake Charles. Uh, Strawberry. All right, sounds like um, the police have spotted something of a drug deal. I'll probably go over there, just check it out, see what's going on. Is coming down hard. This is what it looked like yesterday here. In South Carolina it was raining pretty hard. If this is not on one of the properties, we're not even going to worry about it. That's not one of uh, the places we're looking at, so uh, we're, we're just going to continue on. Like I said, we just want to be aware of anything that might be happening on one of the places we're supposed to be taking uh, care of. And looks like there's some type of police pursuit going on. Not out of the ordinary for this area. We'll head over to the car wash too. That's one of the, the places we're supposed to be keeping an eye on too. Make a U-turn. Continue straight. Check the strip as well. So in this area, you just have a lot of businesses on Make these strips, like four or five shops. Continue straight. Yeah, I mean, it, it could have been the back of the car wash. I couldn't really tell. Continue straight. Sometimes where Continue the businesses straight. are and um, the houses are too. Continue straight. Just kind of all blends in. Yeah, you like the GPS voice? Let's check back here real quick. Turn left. Turn left. Turn left. Okay. Thank you. You have reached your destination. <laughs> All right. Car watch is looking clear. Spotlight out, just shining in here real quick. It's good to me. All right, let's back. 
walking in here and uh, we'll, we'll wait again to see if there's any police activity going on in the area. There we go. Do you have the get pulled over script? Um, currently it's not activated at the moment, but um, I use it, mainly I use it during the Los Santos Goes to Work series. Lincoln, 18. We have a stolen police vehicle in Davis. So, yeah, that would not concern us. Have I played Fortnite? I have not. Not really interested in that game. Can you do a Port Patrol? Trucker, we've done Port Patrols in the past. If you go on the YouTube channel, type in, uh, like, Port of Los Santos, you'll see a few of them. If you go to, uh, we might have a command PJ in here, but if you go to the Discord channel and go into the mods uh, section and you type in exclamation mark mods, it should bring you a URL link you can where you can check them out. It's got a full list of mods we currently use as well as mods in the past. units we've got a 240 and Davis sounds like they're dealing with an assault in the area yeah no problem copy dispatch 10-4 attention unit 1 Lincoln 18 we have a traffic alert on Olympic Freeway for narcotics in transit. Again, something we're not going to worry about. Roger, dispatch. We are en route. Looks like the rain has subsided now. It's good to see. Nope, and uh, we got people coming out. It's actually a cop right over there. Let me turn off my headlights here. I was wondering what those lights were. It looks like some of these lights are flickering a little bit. All right, uh, let's ask her to leave since she's right in front of this area. Hi, ma'am. I, I work for security for this uh, area. Didn't want people outside their business at night, so I'm going to ask you to leave, please. All right, ma'am, I'm going to ask you again. Can you please leave for me? Bye. All right, thank you. Make sure she actually leaves. We need to check over here anyway. We've had problems of people, they'll pretend they're leaving and then they just come back. We'll, we'll go by the, the uh, unicorn, make sure. Okay, we actually have the keys for this place. So we're gonna go in there and uh, just make sure Everything looks okay. Nothing looks disturbed. Some of the businesses we do have keys to. And we can just kind of do a little walkthrough check to make sure. Nothing uh, strange is going on. Lots of my fans play Roblox. Uh, yeah, I, you're probably right. I, I get requests for that game all the time. I'm not really interested in like Minecraft or Roblox games. All right, looks good there. Let's just make sure we lock it up. All right, it's all locked. Yeah, 
my focus is police games, so that's what I like to play. That's what you see a majority of my streams and on the channel. I I believe I have seen the Redwood Tree mod. Looks like a very ex like CPU intensive mod. All right, let's talk to these guys. Oh, they, they might already be leaving. Hey guys, I work uh, group six security here. I'm gonna ask you guys to uh, go ahead disperse for me. Stay up. Thank you for your cooperation. All right, you too, sir. If you would not mind, just please uh, vacate the premises. Appreciate your cooperation. These guys look like they're drinking or something out here. Yeah, that's that's fine, Tony. Okay, so this area looks pretty good. Just check right back here real quick and we'll get back in the car. Some of these businesses need better lighting behind their stores, man. It's so dark back here. People could be doing anything. You have to basically walk up with a flashlight to check. Randy's looking for you. Okay, we will uh, head over there to the unicorn, see what's going on. Now um, they actually might still be open for business, but we'll just head through the parking lot, make sure nobody's like getting in fights or anything like that, drinking out there. Yeah, I'll agree with you, Brown Fox. At the moment, it really is the best uh, kind of police simulator we can we have at the moment, and it's funny to me because it's it's an entirely different game. It's it's a mod that makes it more realistic. Pulling me over. Yeah, uh, so this looks like they're still open for business tonight. So that's fine that people are out here. So that looks clear there. Textile City. All right. Sounds like uh, police have reported a robbery at the gas station. Davis Gas Station will go ahead over there and uh, just see what's going on. All right, Tony. Later, buddy. So we're not police, we can't uh, run the red light or anything crazy like that. So the gas station, that sounds like that has a reported robbery is going to be up here uh, on the corner of Davis, kind of where we st started out near Davis Mall. Yeah, 
This one car keeps running into me, man. I would love for AI drivers somehow to just be able to tell better what's going on. Because they are always running into me, especially at stoplights. We have a possible 148 on Davis Avenue. Okay. Backup needed. Sounds like police are in the area. Like I said, we're not police officers. So I don't want to get in the way, but uh, we are going to notify police in the area that it looks like there are people here attempting to rob the store. This is one of the businesses we do patrol. It, it does stay open late at night, and it sounds like they did try to rob it. Like shots are being fired. Get in there and finish this. Once uh, it looks clear, we'll go in there and um, we'll file a report. We'll talk to the clerk and see if she has any information for us. We'll go ahead and just activate these lights so cars know I'm, I'm in the middle of the road. It appears whoever was um whoever was running has run away from the gas station. Let's just pull pull in over here. Somebody's getting arrested behind us too. This looks like the getaway car though. I don't I don't want to interfere too much. I don't want to interfere in the active scene because uh, that would be an issue. We'll go ahead and check in uh, with our own dispatch. Just let them know we're okay. Looks like the police are leaving. So I'm going to pull up here and see if there's a, a clerk in there we could talk to. File a report for our own security company. See what exactly happened. Hello, is anybody in here? This is Group 6 Security. I'm just doing a uh, a check. I heard about the robbery over the police scanners. I just wanted to get uh, a statement. Alright. Uh, it, it appears empty at the moment. So I don't know if the clerk fled or if they're still talking to police, but maybe we'll swing back here in a little bit and see if the clerks come back. That way um, we can get a statement and everything. Hello? There was a lot of police activity yeah, over here. All right, we will uh, we'll check out the Davis Mall again, see if anything's going on over there. Then we'll swing back around and check on the gas station, see if the clerk's back.
All right, uh, Brown Fox, we'll see you later, man. Thanks for stopping by. What's up, Matt? Good to see you, buddy. So there's still a lot of police activity in the area. I don't know if it was related to the robbery or what. We don't have anybody loitering outside the Mega Mall. It's good to see. It's been a problem lately. Are security guards allowed to pull over other vehicles? They are not. It appears an officer just happened to leave their vehicle here in the middle of the road. We've got an assault on a civilian and strawberry. All right, sir, you can go ahead and drive around. We'll just close the doors here. Not gonna mess with it, but. That way no one can go in and try to steal that police computer or anything. What police car do I love? I, I like a majority of police cars. I like the Crown Vicks. I like the Ford Police Interceptor Sedans Utilities. I like the Chargers. I like the Caprices. Tahoe's look awesome. I really don't have a, like a, a real favorite. Most of the time when people ask me that question, I, I just say like the Carbon Motors E7. That, that's my favorite police car that never really became a police car. Okay, we'll head back over to the gas station, see if that quirks back. And see if we can uh, make contact with her. You're not a fan of trucks, yeah. So, like, for the trucks, there's the Tahoes, there's the uh, Ford Police Interceptor Utilities, which is Ford's SUV, there's the Ram trucks. I've seen some units use that, the Durangos, too. Oh, yep, yeah. okay, Quirk is back, so let's go ahead and get a statement. Actually, I don't need to turn these on. Badoo's away. How you doing tonight? It's good to see you, Raj. Were you? Did you happen to be here during that uh, robbery that just happened about 20 minutes ago? Yes, officer. I I saw it all. Gosh, my accent is so bad. All right, I'm just gonna get a, uh, a statement from you, Raj. Um, I know you've probably already talked to the police and done all that, but uh, what I need to do is, uh, the, for the security company, you know Group 6 sec security company I work for, they want, uh, of course they want kind of a, a recap of what happened here. So can you tell me a little bit about uh, what you saw? And what occurred? Yes, officer, I I was working 
here as normal, my normal hours, the night shift, and uh, th three men came in and with the guns told me to leave, so I left the store and um, and I and I called 911. Okay, so you uh, you just called 911 and left. Where you you didn't get hurt or anything, did you? Uh, no, no, the Mister Security. I d I did not get hurt at all. Okay. Uh, do you know if they happen to steal anything? Um, I have not checked it yet. I just got the back into the store. Okay. That's fine. All right. Well, that's really all I need. I just need a kind of basic detail. I'll just report it back to the security company. Let them know. Sometimes I like to know if, because of the robberies, you know, pick up in the area, they might send uh, two security guards out here at night. So uh, that's that's really all the info I needed from you. Uh, I'm glad you're okay, Raj. Uh, I'm glad they didn't hurt you or anything. So uh, I'll let you uh, finish up your shift and everything, and you have a good night. I just started my shift. Great. Yep. All right. So it sounds like who's doing okay. There is an ATM in the store too, which in the past has been targeted. There's actually a new trend going on or, or around with ATMs. It's called like, I, I've even heard about it in the news locally just recently. I think it's called like jackpotting or something, the ATMs. And uh, what they can do is they can actually hack into these ATMs and get the ATMs to spit out money. So the way I, I looked up a video on YouTube because I was like, how how the heck do you even hack an ATM? How is that possible? But um, what they do is so for some of these machines like in the store, they can buy a, a generic key that will kind of open up the face of this ATM. So once they get that open, they can kind of get into the, the guts of the computer that runs the ATM because the ATM is a computer. And a lot of times they'll have some type of malware or some type of program on a USB. They'll plug the USB into a USB slot behind the cover. And then uh, most of these units have a keyboard too. So then they'll get into like command prompt and run whatever program and the money, the uh, ATM will just actually start to spit out money and they'll just collect the money. So it's it's kind of interesting, but uh, it's it's a concern. So it sounds like some of these ATMs might need better security. I, I'm really not talking like your drive-through ATMs. I'm talking about like these types of machines that you see in convenience stores or other stores, just uh, just like chilling in the corner there. Raj, your donuts are looking a little stale, okay? <laughs> no comment there, no comment. All right, sounds like we got uh, that situated, that whole robbery. We got uh, the story for that. I think we're going to actually end it here for today's stream for LSPDFR streams. Typically, I just stream about an hour. All right, guys, you have a uh, great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys on the next stream.